Hello, sports fan. This is Steven here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the dirty laundry. Before I get right into it, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The New York football giants general manager, Joe Shane, made a, a, a nasty mistake. When you think about watching Hard Knocks and you seeing exactly what played out on the cameras where everybody captured it, it was a simple conversation with Saquon Barkley on speakerphone. He talked about essentially letting the running back go hit free agent market and basically requesting a promise that he, Saquon will come back to the table to try to negotiate once he sees what deals are out there. Essentially, what the New York football giants did was make a true mistake. When you think about Saquon Barkley and what he gave to the actual organization, it was blood, sweat, and tears. When you think about all the runs where he's having to get the ball five yards deep in, in the line of scrimmage, and essentially jumping back and forth and having to dodge blockers essentially before he even gets to the line of scrimmage. Saquon has had to bite the bitter bullet of being the best player on one of the worst franchises in the NFL. When you think of Daniel Jones, you think of an inconsistent quarterback that essentially is not up to par to start and be one of the top 20 quarterbacks in the NFL. He's a stopgap quarterback. He's a mistake that they made contract-wise. And you've got to think from the standpoint, you chose a quarterback that's not really in your future plans over a 27-year-old running back who has high character, somebody who's on the field and actually you can see him athletically and what he's able to do. And he goes to your rival. He goes to the Philadelphia Eagles where he can stick it to you at least two times in a season. And if you make it to the playoffs, it could be a third time. So you have to understand Saquon Barkley did what's right for him. And so many NFL franchises need to understand that this mistake that was made, there are so many guys that will not negotiate with you now. There are so many free agents that will not come to the Giants now because of that clip. And you have to keep in mind the, the, the area in which we're in is a player empowered era. So you got to think from the standpoint, as good as show, Joe Shane may be with negotiating contracts or getting free agents or making trades, what if you get a, a top tier free agent that says, hey, what about this Saquon Barkley thing? You know that they had over a year to get this done with Saquon. Know that they've had plenty of chances at the apple to bite the apple and get it right with Saquon. When he wanted to be a giant for life, you did not want him to be a giant for life. You lowballed him. You made sure that he didn't get the deal that he wanted to do. And that's a part of the nasty work of this deal. And you got to think, it played out all on hard knocks and everything is there. So you can't hide anything. You essentially wasted the talent that you had that was drafted with the number Number two overall pick that year. So you got to ask yourselves, if you're the Giants, is he competent enough to be the general manager of your team? Letting quality players go out the door like this? Now watch, when Saquon has a Hall of Fame kind of year uh, with the Philadelphia Eagles, he landed in the right place. You're going to regret this, Giants. Giants fan base, you're going to regret this. So all you New York football Giants, did you want to keep Saquon? Were you in agreement of him leaving or did you want him to stay? Put your comments in the comment section below. All you NFL fans, get in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus. We'll see you on the next episode.